CTN The Voice, where we have five minute nuggets on the series leading by faith. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Suzanne Kamabach. Today, I would like to deal with love, the love of God. In Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39, it says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Every physical space is covered. Every creature and every planet, nothing is left out. That John, it is written here when John uh, Paul writes that it can separate us from the love of God. But every time I read these two scripture verses, I am in awe because this love of God is so powerful. Nothing can sever the relationship with the children of God from their father's love. Our shortcomings, our sins, our faults, the Father loves us still. Man may withdraw affections based on things above when we have fallen short of their expectations, but not God. Not God, he says, nothing can separate us from his love. Would you like to experience that kind of love? That kind of love that regardless of what is unconditional, he says, come. Come, when you come to him, you can experience this kind of love. I don't know, but I feel special. And if I were you, I would feel special also. It doesn't matter what you may have done. Yes, what you may have done may have been wrong and you can repent. But when you know that does not interfere with God's love for you, this is something that you can just shout, hallelujah, praise the Lord. He says no creature, he covers uh, time, distance. He said nothing in the past, no things to come. So he has covered it all. Jesus has embraced all of these things. Do you think anything can separate you? Do you feel that you're not worthy of his love? If you believe that, well then this, these two verses should change your thinking. Romans 8, 38 and 39. Meditate on that. Nothing, not no height, no depth, nothing under the earth, nothing above the earth, no creature. He has covered it, everything, and then he comes back and says, and any other thing that may come. This is the kind of love that I want us to experience to continue to bask in that love. We didn't earn it, we didn't work for it, but he has shed his love upon us and we thank God for that love. Father and God, we just praise your name and we thank you for the love that you have for us. We thank you that nothing can separate us from your love. We receive your love today and we apply it and we, de de we declare your goodness in your love, Father. We receive it. Receive that love today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Continue viewing ACTN, The Voice, for more spiritually uplifting messages from the Word of God. Shalom. Mm -hmm.